everybody, it's your old pal Larry back from Monster Movie App with a movie review. Today we're going to dig into The Tokoloche from writer-director Jerome Pickwain and Uncorked Entertainment. Now this is a 2018 South African film that follows the life of a young woman who is working at a hospital to save money to bring her sister from their home village to where she's currently living in the city of Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, While working at the hospital, she meets a young girl. Uh, They become friends. And then they are terrorized by the Tokoloche. Uh, As far as the positives of this film go, uh, it's a beautiful backdrop in a rundown hospital. Uh, creates a great atmosphere. I really like that part of it. Uh, it has great cinematography, very haunting. Uh, the lighting is very cool. Uh, and there's also some super creepy scenes that'll make your skin crawl. And it's a really a, the whole, the storyline overall is super compelling. Uh, very, it's a very slow burn, but it's, uh, like a day in the life of this young woman. And uh, that helps to build the characters, to build her character and the, uh, and the young girl. As far as what I didn't like, the twist ending. The twist ending, um, I knew what was coming. As soon as they introduced the little girl, I knew exactly what, what the story was. Uh, so it was like, absolutely no surprise from that point on. And um, what did happen... If I could put this in a way that won't spoil anything, which is not easy to do, uh, what what is actually happening happening isn't something that uh, would be great as a horror fan. It, it diminishes what you think is going on. Let's just put it that way. And worst of all, uh, overall, the story and the twist. It's been done a billion times in a billion better movies. So, uh, you know, it's not original at all. And uh, like I said, if you're a horror fan, you'll know you'll know the deal right away. So let's get to my final review, if we could. Uh, the burning question is, would I recommend you watch it? And uh, yeah, it's worth a watch. Uh, Like I said, cool production values, um, some creepy scenes, you know, it definitely is worth a watch. Now, the real question, would I buy it when it comes out on physical media or whatever? Um, And unfortunately, that's a no. I already know what happened. I knew what happened before it happened years ago. So there's no need to watch it again. Uh, Now, this movie comes out on VOD on December 3rd, so you can watch it for yourself then. Well, hey, everybody, that's my review, and I'm sticking by it. Until I see all of you motherfuckers again next time, as always, get the fuck out of my house. Bye.